Isn't it amazing that you can afford to be like every other person? For me, my parents, for my mom who stood for me and let me run away from home. Do it like this, right? I'll do it here. Do it! Go for it! Only one person is allowed to do this and that is Shah Rukh Khan and nobody should do it. Jay, welcome to Cannes. Welcome to Film Companion. Cannes edition. French Riviera wala edition. Correct. It feels so cool to say that. So thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Listen, everything is just so pretty over here. Yes. You included. Including you. You looking thank very beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. But talk to me about this homecoming. What is it like for you ten years later coming back to the biggest film festival in the world? Yeah, it's been it's been a mini like a uh, decade is properly registered for me now. It's a milestone. I came here in 2013 with Monsoon shoot out my first film and after 10 years I've come here as a part of the Indian delegation so I just feel like कि कुछ तो मैंने सही किया रहेगा पिछले दस साल में वही तो there are really not many actors who can boast of making their debut at the Cannes Film Festival yeah I saw some Instagram posts talking about how you were अपना Johnny Depp tell me did you feel like him like you had fully arrived take me back to Vijay from 10 years ago it was very interesting. So when I came here, I bought one jacket from Zara, which I could afford. But for the main event, for two events, they they said you have to wear the whole suit. Huh. So yeah. and I went to people saying that you know can some designer come come some some stylist can help me out and they said ki who is Vijay Varma we don't want to dress anybody. So then a friend of mine gifted me a pair of uh, Zara suit, which I wore uh, at the uh, for the morning photo shoot. For the photo call, and somebody stitched me a pair of tuxedo for the red carpet. So that's how I went. And when I saw the pictures, when they came out, it was on Getty Images and all these such places, which I didn't have money to buy from. <laughs> so now, still, I don't have those images. Uh, oh no! So those. So when I looked at the pictures, I'm like, oh, I'm, I look, I look fine. I look all right. Cause never been looked like that. I've never been dressed like that before. Uh, so it was, it was a bit of a. It was a bit of a, you know, I got I got enchanted by my own self for a second. I was like, "Acha lagra." That sounds amazing. And now I now that now that I revisited that image huh. after say ten years, I feel like yeah, thola sa usme aa raha hai Marwari Johnny Depp. We're gonna sit here, but you know, talk to me about how that made you feel. Because obviously, in your head, you're the next big thing. You're making your debut at Cannes. Yeah. But someone's not willing to lend you a suit to wear. Yeah. Was that confusing? Was that frustrating? What did? How did you unpack it? I didn't know any of it, really. Like, it was, it was stupid of me and naive of me to ask, and it was equally understandable why it didn't come through. You know, it, because you know you you get trained for acting at a film school. Nobody trains you for what Bombay and what the industry and what are the. You know, I didn't know that you know what I'm reading in the newspaper sometimes is bought and 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 you know fabricated. Sometimes it is, you know. So I didn't know any of these things. I learned. And Bombay has a way of teaching you. Yeah, I think I learned on the go. Yeah, but but along the way, does it at all break your spirit, or how do you not let it? I mean, I think a few times spirit must have been uh, must have taken a beating. But one good thing that I kept doing is I kept my head down and I kept working uh, in whatever capacity I could, you know. Uh, and I chose good directors over, you know, uh, better roles or bigger roles with directors I don't find fascinating. So even if I had four scene, three scene here and there, I was working with people I aspire to work with, whose work I admire. I think that kept me going because I wanted to be excited about what I do. And not just make money, and, and I could have done television easily. It was the avenue was open there. Mm -hmm. But today you come back here as a success story. Yeah. You have been invited, like you said, to represent the country as part of the India delegation. Yeah. Uh, how are you processing that, and how does success taste? Uh, it was it was it was nice of them to to uh, the gesture gesture of, of inviting me here. 
and uh, I immediately said yes because I I knew the heart just came out and I would be flooded with a lot of activities post release and this is just happening post release so I knew you know I'll have to give up on that and to be here but I wanted to be here because it, it I, I mean it's a it's a international um, you know uh, a platform a place I want to represent my country country and be here for for my for my fraternity but how are you unpacking this opportunity? Like when you're here with a film, how is it different now when you're here just because of you? I, I like I like the fact that I I'm not here with a film this year because I I my uh, the heart went to Berlin. Mm -hmm. uh, of, Casual flex. <laughs> so and I know the kind of you know uh, stuff you have to do when your film is playing at a festival. It's a lot of work. But today I'm just here. I'm already dressed for my dinner, so I don't have to change. I don't have to give too many interviews. I don't, so I'm fairly come here to take a lot of naps and attend all these uh, formal events mm -hmm. and and have a good time. Yeah, but take a lot of naps. Yeah. I mean, you talked about how see the hype and the hoopla is now all happening around Vijay Verma. For the rest of us, you're evidently living your best life. And yet you said to Anu recently that you still enjoy being invisible. Yeah. Why? Isn't it amazing that you can afford to be like every other person and not feel the pressure of being like recognized and, and behave all the time. You can't pick your nose, can't eat pani puri where you want, can't say what you want, can't hold anybody's hand. So I don't like any of it. I enjoy my invisibility. And now with this new sh Short hair look, nobody recognizes me. So really? It's amazing, yeah. I mean, they do. By the time they recognize me, I'm out. <laughs> but but does a place like Cannes still give you the anonymity a little bit to just be? I think so. I mean, this is a place where, I mean, there are barely, I think there are some Indians and Indian audiences here. But uh, this is this is a global stage, you know. A, a fascinating players from across the world. I mean, I know every time a project comes out, there's a crazy amount of hype that happens and everybody wants a piece of you. Uh, but when it dies down is when I feel most relaxed. Do you, in a sense, feel like um, Bollywood has now fully understood how to best utilize Vijay Verma? I think, uh, I don't know. Bollywood se puchha. Ye sawal Bollywood se puchha jai. <laughs> <laughs> Bollywood, kaha hai? Jawab do, Sneha ko. Uh, but you know, I, to to answer your question a bit seriously, I've been fascinated by choices that the the directors are giving me right now. I am really like surprised by the kind of roles I'm offered, the kind of responsibilities they're seeing, uh, they're putting in my on my shoulders. So there's a lot of stuff that I've already shot. There are some I'm shooting, and there's some which is planned till next year. So there's a lot of work in pipeline, you know. And I know that the variety of work that is going to come out. So, and it's often been the directors who found more in me than I could find in myself. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like I am in a place where I can't complain, for sure. And, yeah. yeah. No, but if you were to think back to the Vijay who came here 10 years ago, yeah. do you wish he had done something differently to change the course of this journey? Or are you just happy with how things panned out when they panned out? Mm. You know, when things pan out the way they pan out and, and for good, uh, you don't have regrets, but you know, if, God forbid, if I hadn't made it, then it would have been a very tragic story. Yes, it would have, it would have been have a been huge a, loss. Yeah, it would have been a very personal tragedy for me. No, I don't. National I don't know tragedy. About, <laughs> I don't know about others. You know, people come and go, but it would have been very tragic for me, my parents, for my mom who stood for me and let me run away from home. It would have been a, a great tragedy. So yeah. She let you run away from home. Yeah, I ran away from home when I was 22. But she let you, so how is that running away? Uh, because uh, the, uh, running away was from father. Right. Uh, mom supported me. So that's a big, big sacrifice on yeah, her part. Uh, yeah. yeah. So if I hadn't made it, I wanted to make it, I wanted to make it for her, primarily. I saw this really cute uh, Instagram post where she's just like covered in this newspaper, filled with yeah. your face from head My to face, toe. My face, several faces. Several, yeah. Several my faces. Yes. Wanting bride. 
<laughs> so this is a double edged question a no, does it please. make her feel proud to see you on the center spread and b is she still hunting for a bride <laughs> she has been her for sole agenda as soon as my work started to i mean it really didn't change if i if i when i didn't have work she wanted me to get married now that i have a lot of work she still wants me to get married so that's that's been a constant but yeah to uh, i think she found it very amusing uh, uh, we had to tell her what it is she couldn't understand or read that english so when she found out she kept laughing for so long and she's like ab to meri suni liya sabne finally uh, and yeah. yeah and she's very proud she's very very proud although my choices in roles and my portrayal sometimes really confuses her ye kya kar raha hai tu kyun karte hai aise role ha ek bar aise kar lo na ab yahi karunga main kya nahi kar lo go for it <laughs> only one person is allowed to do this and that is sharukh khan and nobody should do it this is true acha your good friend tamanna was here last year has she given you some tips and tricks on how to do can right uh i was there before her <laughs> my drop <laughs> <laughs> so i know my can <laughs> speaking of knowing your can hmm. apart from of course the amazing films that one gets to see over here it's also become hardcore fashion capital and you my friend have evolved into a an incredible face to watch out for even with your fashion yeah. uh, what are the can looks going to be I, i figured that because i didn't get a single acting award after darlings and i've got like seven or eight fashion awards so i'm clearly not doing something right in acting but i'm <laughs> certainly doing something right in fashion i guess but you're having fun i'm having fun you're I'm having a lot of fun yeah i'm wearing arjun saduja for today mm, shout out <laughs> yeah. yeah but you totally i mean is this a way for you to just express the real you yeah i think uh I mean you know I was I was living a not fully real not fully blossom self because there was too many things that not that were not going in my favor and when I got things going in my favor I'm like ab main chupane ka nahi abhi main main khul gaya hu ab main jo hai yeah but what really um, was that like were you not able to just express yourself because of um not knowing see all of these things you know you have to feel confident first confidence is a key ingredient of 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 representing who you are and i was lacking confidence i was also i mean there was no money in my life so clearly you can't do uh fashion when you i was doing fashion affordable fashion which i could but nobody paid attention to that but yeah so i feel like a lot of ingredients need to come together and to be success uh, makes you confident yeah success brings a certain kind of surety about yourself um it doesn't change the way you look at yourself i it personally for me didn't change the way i look at myself but it definitely saw a shift in the way others looked at me which is why i asked you earlier on uh, how does success taste can i also say that you've walked out here in time for your interview with zero entourage in tow yeah so it hasn't changed very much for you the person yeah but has it just changed uh, your approach like has it no it it hasn't i'm really like i i steam banned this entire outfit by myself today you're kidding yeah i did cuz uh, it was not possible for me to bring somebody this time uh, and this was little last minute mm-hmm. for me because the, there were some visa or passport issues yeah so i said i can do it anyway you know i don't want to be baby babysat all the time yeah cuz actors they we tend to get too much taken care of and we are working and we need that when we are shooting because you can't be thinking about whether you had water or not somebody should just remind you pick pani pee lo or you know your outfit is ready and this and that but i'm here on mono as i as i mentioned i'm not here to you know to to do heavy lifting i'm here to have a good time and and be part of the delegation and have fun you know actually ratna patak sha talked to me recently in an interview about how she feels this entourage culture can just be very dangerous for actors because mm. uh it she seen many many good actors really just lose themselves with too much of the hype uh-huh. are you uh, aware of that from time i to i time? saw i saw that clip i saw that clip <laughs> <laughs> i did uh yeah i mean i i i don't know what works for whom and i don't know who's dealing with what kind of issues in their life uh so i feel like every actor who is actually out there working 
it takes a lot man and you do whatever works for you really it's, it's a tough job it's uh, you're constantly seen judged every friday every release um, every outfit these days there are people to criticize and so anything that can help you to be sane be grounded uh, or to focus on performing your best in front of the camera or outside do whatever it takes i i'm no way to ju- no one to judge but what works for you uh no managers on set <laughs> no entourage when i'm not shooting yeah yeah so i was watching an interview that you did out of can 10 years ago for my prep uh and Ooh. you talked about how watching yourself on the big screen is the most horrifying experience yeah. but you hoped that with time and age and experience uh it would stop being Did so I say that? yes okay. so i want to know 10 years later 10 saal baad does it get easier do you like watching your you on screen i remember when i saw myself on the screen for the first couple of films at least i was almost on the verge of you know like i was throwing getting up getting sweat yeah i was on the verge of throwing up i was sweating that horrifying huh yeah i was just like <laughs> what is this and why everybody can see this like <laughs> can somebody just hide what is happening and everybody is looking oh god you signed up to be an actor huh, you knew that this would be the best case scenario no, i i'm stupid that way <laughs> i didn't i didn't think this through uh, so but now i've calmed down definitely i my 10 year or oh, 10 year experience uh 10 year old self no huh. not 10 year old self what am i saying huh me 10 years ago should be assured that i feel far more relaxed to to watch myself on screen but there has been a small condition okay uh especially with the last couple of releases darlings in the heart those hollywood was, men that you yeah it was difficult for me there's to there's a watch. reason i haven't interviewed you till today <laughs> yeah i'm almost nervous to be <laughs> yeah i remember i'd come to the office <laughs> yeah and sneha is like uh, hi hi and everybody is hugging and all sneha is like <laughs> this is true this is true and then everybody else told me you got really scared after darling yeah. so but well, that's the biggest compliment that i can possibly give you yeah so your condition is what so i get scared like i don't want to hug myself after seeing what i do so yeah it's been uncomfortable in that way now watching myself i want to play a good guy so bad <laughs> he did it <laughs> <laughs> so now you're more comfortable and uh success makes you more confident of just really actually enjoying seeing yourself on the big screen which was always the big dream yeah it was always the big dream uh uh but yeah it's a lot more confident also like the risks uh, with certain characters that i have taken uh, have paid off so i feel more confident because of that sometimes you try to do something new and, and something which is a little dangerous um and it connects and people love you for that so that feels good it really feels good you'd have had enough people possibly telling you that this is career suicide i'd imagine uh again like i mentioned i really don't consult anybody for the no work well i do wishes. no main apne baap ki nahi sunta main kis ki kya sununga <laughs> so no i i i want to be fully solely responsible for my for my choices and uh, very maybe once or twice i must have asked the head of my management to give her opinion on 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 a certain film but i have to connect with the script once i'm connect to the script then i don't ask ki mai karu nahi karu do you feel part of the circles now does bollywood uh, um has has it have they co-opted you now parties mein invite milte hai ki nahi uh i'm sure milte hai but you know i've been so busy that i've barely made time for anything including awards uh so yeah my my idea of of having a good day is shooting and then hanging out with my with my four friends so that is what i do and your four friends are from are from uh, some of from mostly from fti where i studied and some of them i uh, managed to get around while working but they are uh, but they're not like inside bollywood peeps finally before i let you go it's my first can so tell me congratulations thank you very much and this is the first interview she's doing this is true at can and who better so thank you but leave me with some recommendations some lasting impressions what has this uh, place 
meant to you? What lasting memories does it have for you? What has changed? What remains the same? Okay, so I came here uh, in 2013 and we had a screening at the main theatre. Yes. Uh, it was raining, it was midnight. Uh, we had a midnight screening Amazing. at 12 o'clock. And I was sitting in the car, me and Nawaz and the director, Amit Kumar. We were going in a car, somebody was going to take us to the, to the venue. And I see, a, and we were thinking, who will come so late? And it's raining outside. I see a bunch of umbrellas just like wow. standing outside. And the driver turns around and says, these are waiting for you. And, we, and we couldn't believe it. We like all these, like, and it's a 2000 seater jam packed. So a bunch of people. And I go inside and I'm walking the red carpet. I'm getting message from Smriti Kiran. Uh, she's saying, I'm watching you live inside the theater. I'm like, what? The TV so, screen. So I suddenly felt like I became something. Like all the work that I had done before, training, this, that, waiting patiently. Like I was seen for the first time here. So I had to tell this this long story to arrive to this small point that uh, this has been a window for me to start my, my life, my career. And I wish you the same that from here on you go. What a sweet thing to say. And really today you are back as the biggest success, literally here to represent your country. I don't think there's any bigger full circle. Congratulations. Thank you I so really much. hope you enjoy the festival. And thank, thank you, so you for much. being my first interview. I couldn't have asked for better. Let's thank do you. It. Thank you so much. You've been watching FC at Cannes 2023 in association with travel partner Air France, smartphone partner Google Pixel, beauty partner L'Oreal Paris, media partner NDTV, and travel trend partner Skybags.